most people aren't very bright, so if they get a cement block in the mail with a big screw poking out of it and all this other stuff, they're not going to know what to do. So this explains, you know, like that uh, after removing your 12-inch high-quality vinyl audio entertainment platter, C, prudently guide its center hole down over the zinc-plated stainless steel connection rod, that's E right here, with the thumb and forefinger of your dominant hand to ease the premium high-impact plastic 45 RPM adapter separator, that's B right here, so that it is centered over your 12-inch high-quality vinyl audio entertainment platter, C, that we saw earlier, C right there. And stuff like that. Initially, it was just cement in the mold, and uh, the only variation pretty much was whether it had many air bubbles. And then I started putting stuff in there, like bugs and old dried acrylic paint. That's rotting wood. That's some rusty screw. That's the sort of calcium deposits and stuff from a shower with the hair from the shower drain. Uh, oh, there's a cricket. I think a bee and a fly in there. Uh, nails and a dead plant. Now because I don't have a vibrator, I do a little drum roll on it here to get the air bubbles out. And believe it or not, it works really well. See, I drew a panouse on here, but that is the back, and uh, it'll be covered in felt, so whoever gets that will not know that they have the one with the panouse. Peanut surprise. sheet and bumper sticker and invoice.
And that's that. Post office next stop. From my vantage point, the top of the hill, I look 